Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Friday, October 28th, 2022. Today is the last Friday of the month of October. Uh, we will have one more day of school in the month of October, but it is the last Friday. And at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today is a Friendship Friday and we're gonna change it up a little bit. I want you to bow your heads, think quietly to yourselves about your best friend, someone you care about, someone you love spending time with, but bow your heads and think about your best friend. Let's bow. Great job, everyone. Don't forget to roar this Friday. Be respectful, own your learning and behavior, achieve great things and be responsible. I have to say, knock on wood, we have had a really pretty good week and I'm very proud of all of you. You're being kind, you're following your teacher's directions. Keep up the good work. You may have noticed that some of the bulletin boards around the buildings have one of our Wildcats on them. And on Monday, Miss Reuter and I are gonna talk to you a little bit about what's what are those for and what do we get so be prepared on monday to be roaring each and every day today for lunch we are having tony's personal pan pizza garden salad with dinner roll uh peanut butter and jelly and crustable baked uh, green beans fruit and milk we've got several students celebrating their birthdays over the weekend happy birthday or today happy birthday to kung ta tong um, celebrating their birthday on the 28th. Rain Tolentino is celebrating her birthday on the 28th. Tomorrow, the 29th, happy early birthday to Kitley Tackett Wheat. And on Sunday, the 30th, happy birthday to Wee Lee. Those friends should stop by the office for their birthday surprise. All right, my money not clicking. Not sure, sorry. Don't forget that we are wearing sweaters and sweatshirts. Uh, I also have to say, boys and girls, if you haven't noticed, it is getting colder. Um, I know on yesterday morning, I watched lots of kids get off the bus and they were shivering because they didn't have a jacket or a sweatshirt or a coat. Make sure you're wearing a coat or a jacket. Um, it's gonna get a lot colder in the next few months. So make sure you're dressing appropriately because as long as it's above a certain temperature and it's dry, we're going out for recess. So make sure that you have a jacket or a sweater or a sweatshirt or a coat. All right, Monday starts our bus competition. I've been talking about it. And actually I have a lot of kids who said, I've been wearing my lanyard, I've been bringing my lanyard. And so Monday is gonna start our bus competition. I'm gonna track to see which buses are wearing their lanyards the best. That bus after a certain number of days or weeks is gonna win a prize. Don't be that person that keeps your bus from winning. And you know who I'm talking about because I ask you every morning where your lanyard is. You're a third grader, you know where it is. Today is the final day of Red Ribbon Week. It is our runaway, our uh, drugs, oh, I can't talk. Scare away drugs and violence. Uh, we've already seen lots of fun Halloween shirts and scary spooky shirts. Um, you know, I've seen lots of friends wearing their red lanyard or red uh, ribbon all week long to remind themselves to be drug free. And I've also had a lot of friends who've been asking me and telling me, you know, Mr. Schneider, I've got a relative who smokes or I've got a relative who does, who drinks. And I've been reminding people that that's a grown up choice that, you know, sometimes grown ups make. But we still love that person. We still care about that person. We just want that person to make good choices so that they can live a long and healthy life. If you've got a friend who is smoking or drinking or doing drugs, sometimes the best thing to do is just tell them, you know, I'd be really sad if something happened to you. I wish you wouldn't smoke or I wish you wouldn't drink um, and so that you can live a long, happy life. Well, you know, you've gotten ribbons, you've gotten bookmarks, you've gotten pencils, you've gotten stickers. And today you're gonna get a Just Say No, it's kind of hard to read, a Just Say No lollipop. Your teacher probably will give it to you later in the day. 
Um, but you're going to get a Just Say No lollipop because you've been so good at participating in our spirit days, so good at being drug and alcohol free. You are so smart and capable, and I want you to live a long, happy, healthy life. Well, like I said, boys and girls, we've had a pretty good week this week, and I'm very proud of you. You know, we've got a few friends who are still touching people or saying mean words, but for the most part, we did a really nice job. I want you to end Friday on a great note. I want you to follow directions, show kindness and respect, and keep those hands and feet to yourselves. You're a wildcat. You're fierce, you're ferocious, and you're capable of anything. Make it a fabulous Friday, Wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye, everyone.